majestic mountains tower above Almaty. But even on clear days, you can barely see Kazakhstan's commercial capital. Under the blanket of smog, cars are among the worst culprits. Almaty's residents are forced to breathe in hundreds of thousands of tons a year of exhaust fumes. Kazakhstan's biggest sources of pollution are aging coal-fired power stations and gas flaring from the petroleum industry, which make the country one of the world's worst carbon emitters by population. In 2008, it produced 15 tons of carbon dioxide per person, but the government is committed to reducing such emissions by 15% from 1992 levels by 2020. To achieve it, a cap-and-trade system in the energy sector will put a price on carbon from 2013. It's a modest aim. Kazakhstan produces less than 1992 levels today. Still, workshops like this are preparing the industry and officials are optimistic. It will see not just a reduction of greenhouse gases but the reduction of all dirty elements. So it means the environmental situation in the country will improve and the introduction of renewable energy will help to reduce greenhouse emissions further. Green initiatives such as renewable energy and better public transport are still rare in Kazakhstan. This is the country's first cycle lane, built last year. Enthusiasts lobbied for it, but say government doesn't always honour its commitments. Promises was uh, for this year or to build up twice longer bike lane, but <laughs> it, they didn't. Sometimes you feel like uh, <laughs> you're hitting the wall. <laughs> Solutions such as Almaty's new metro are grounds for optimism. It took 23 years to complete and there's only one line. But the city needs it now more than ever. It's just opened and Almatyites are very proud to be using it for the first time. Eventually there'll be more lines and if enough people start using it and leaving their cars at home, it could have a positive impact on the environment. The metro or carbon pricing won't alone make Kazakhstan green. But they show that the authorities aren't just sitting back and doing nothing, and that the country might be heading in a new direction. Robin Forestier Walker, Al Jazeera, Almaty.